What's going on guys? Brandon back here with another video. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot lately. I've been really busy with work, uh, two, working two jobs, working overtime, blah blah blah, all this stuff. But since I really don't have anything to post, uh, I figured I'd go ahead and let you guys know about my life since I haven't talked about it really. I'm 20 years old. I turned 21 in April. And a lot of you don't know probably, but I'm also a type 1 diabetic. Uh, this came along when I was about 15 years old and before anybody says anything about being diabetic there is actually two types of diabetes type 1 which I have and type 2 is what a lot of people have type 2 is from eating habits and being unhealthy and type 1 is you're just either born with it or it hits you later in life during puberty which basically which ha what happens is your white blood cells attack your pancreas for some ungodly reason. I don't know why. Basically, it just shuts down your pancreas and your pancreas does not produce any insulin whatsoever at all. If you're type two, type two, you can change your eating habits and you can actually get rid of it. But like I said, type one, there's no getting rid of it. You're stuck with it for the rest of your life and it, it kind of sucks. So I'm gonna tell you guys my story and how I ended up with it. I've all I've been pretty big all my life, uh, not fat, but I've been chunky when I was younger, when I was a kid. And about eighth grade year, I dropped a lot of weight, got really skinny, was nothing but skin and bones. Um, I was eating everything in sight, drinking everything in sight. It was pretty bad. And then my dad actually was like, "Hey, uh, I think something's wrong." get you checked out so we ended up going to my doctor and as soon as he walked in the room he gave me a weird face and I didn't know what was going on and basically what they did was he said he could smell ketones and ketones when you're in TKA which is diabetic ketone acetosis I think I got that right but it basically means your blood sugar has been high for so long that you're in a state of ketosis which is really dangerous for anybody. And it, uh, it's a really scary thing. My blood sugar when I went in was at 750 when I got diagnosed. After I got diagnosed, he basically told me, hey, pack your stuff and go to the ER. So we did, went home, packed all my stuff, went to the ER. Um, as soon as I got there, they rushed me to the back, stuck me with IVs and uh, everything tested my blood sugar like I said and it was 750 so they put me on an insulin uh, insulin drip and uh, trying to pump fluids in my body because I was so dehydrated and nothing but skin and bones well I ended up staying in the hospital for about four days five days in ICU which is intensive care unit and after that they kind of released me told me to go home take it easy I had to learn everything it was a pain in the ass but I managed First, uh, they had me on insulin shots, or uh, actually syringes, and I had to load up my own insulin, and I did that for about four months. And then after four months, they moved me to the insulin pen, and uh, I stayed on that for a pretty, pretty good while. And then about right at a year, they told me, hey, I qualified, and my insurance approved it, and I was able to get on the insulin pump. The insulin pump has changed my life so much. Uh, I really enjoy the pump. It makes it so easy to manage everything and it's right there in your hand so you don't have to bring any extra shots with you, any extra insulin or anything like that. And it's just so much easier than doing syringes or shots. So here I am, five years later, 20 years old now, like I said. I just wanted to share my story with you guys and let you know about me a little bit more since no one really knew anything personally about me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so please leave a like leave a comment and subscribe for more content.